Greg Florimo here with Kel O'Brien at training, Jersey Flag training, Tuesday night. Uh, Kel, we played the Bulldogs on Saturday morning, bit of an unusual uh, time slot. Um, not the result we were after, although I thought we started fairly well. Yeah, we started really well. We came out uh, enthusiastic, plenty of energy, very aggressive. I thought we had them for a bit there, then just a couple of, well, they scored a couple of um, tries on last tackle that really hurt, and just a couple of bad errors at the wrong time that really hurt. But there were some positive signs out of it, but we had a few new boys in that, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit of time to gel. But your own form has been pretty consistent. You're enjoying, um, I mean, you're the leader of the pack. You're enjoying that role there with the Bears? Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I, I was close to, I pretty much hung up the boots this year, and the Bears really took me in. Uh, I can't thank them enough for it, and I'm really loving my footy here. Even though the last couple of weeks we're not getting the results we wanted to, I'm still enjoying my footy. It's a good bunch of blokes, and hopefully we can get a few more wins these last few weeks because we're not far off those top sides, just in those um, pivotal moments where we let ourselves down. Another tough one this weekend against the Roosters. So do you know much about the Roosters? Yeah, I've come, I've come through the uh, system there. I was there for a few years. Um, they're quite a quite talented bunch, but I think they've been having the same problems as us. We're in the middle. They've been struggling a bit just winning those tackles and stuff. But if we, I think our focus this week is going to be more on us and just controlling the little things like our errors and our discipline and our defense, defensive structures, and I think we'll be all right. As a front rower, what do you think you need to, to get to the top in the game? I think it's just us got to lay a good platform for the outside backs and definitely an attack, just getting the boys going forward. And in defense, just being aggressive, um, setting the line, being A, getting up fastest and trying to win as many tackles as I can. That's probably somewhere where I can, imp can improve is uh, winning some more tackles. OK, so we've had, um, we find ourselves a few points out of the eight. Um, we've got seven games to go. We need to probably string a few wins together. What do you think the key to, to some success into the future is for, for our footy team at the moment? I think we just need to go back to the little things that we're doing earlier in the year and just um, playing a lot more. We're getting Josh, Josh Cook back this week, which is a positive, and it's playing a lot more off him. And yeah, I think if we can go back to just getting the, our wrestle a bit better, we're not far off, just in the key moments we're just letting ourselves down a little bit. We're just going to trust to what the coaches are saying and go with the game plan. And mate, on the weekend you were nominated as the man of the match. You received your Lingmo watch, the translator watch. You've had a bit of a fiddle with it. And what's your first impressions, mate? Oh, very impressive. It's going to be very handy when I'm travelling overseas in the next couple of years. And I can't wait to use it. Fantastic. Thanks, Gil. Appreciate your time.